Hi and welcome everyone. So I uploaded my first project on this channel a couple of days ago and I am already halfway through a couple of uh, other builds. I started way before the, the last project I did show actually. And I just thought it would be cool to actually create a log of those builds so you can see what sort of uh, difficulties I go through when whenever I, I make something like this. And I think it would be good for myself as well to to keep a trace of of what what I went through and why I suffered so much. So here is the next project. It's a Nerf turret and it's going to be Bluetooth uh, controlled. So as you can see here, I have basically a magazine containing about eight darts. Well, it's not about. It is eight darts. At the front, we have uh, two electric motors with some rollers that will propel the, the darts forward. At the bottom, we have a base with a servo, and this servo is going to allow the magazine to move from left to right. At the bottom of the magazine, just here, we have, a, we have another servo, and this is going to allow the turret to tilt so it's going to, to control like the up and down movement. Just above that servo, we have all the uh, electronic parts. So I'm not too sure about the placement of those. Don't really like the design, but for now, I think it should work if, if I leave them here. So here we have a Arduino Nano above the voltage regulator. And on the top here, we have the Bluetooth module. At the back here, we have a servo that will be used to push the darts into the rollers. So if I hide the side here, we can see how it works. So whenever a signal is sent to, to this turret from your phone or your computer, uh, I'm planning to two applications. This servo is going to push this rod that will push the dart into, into the rollers and then the rollers are going to push the dart forward. So at the top here we can see that I have a cover and basically this cover is going to push the dart because I already made a, a prototype and I noticed whenever, whenever the magazine is pointing up sometimes the darts don't go down and so I can't fire them and if the magazine is pointing down too much the darts are sliding into the rollers without the need of being pushed into it which is not not good so here you can see that I have different uh, version for different uh, servo size and also for different jack plugs this is going to be for, for this is going to be for the power supply So yeah, I think that covers the main main design. Uh, as you can see, I'm working on a software called uh, Elias Studio Tools, which isn't like really the the right tool for the job. But this is what I use every day at work, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable with that. I think if you want to develop this kind of stuff, like something like Fusion 360, Fusion 360, or maybe SolidWorks, would be a better tool, probably quicker as well. Right, in the next video, I'm going to maybe cover like the apps. So the one I built for Windows and the one I built for Android using, using the um, MIT App Inventor. Right, thanks very much.